What's going on everyone, Mar here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm gonna give you some of the best and cheapest products to start drop shipping for your print on demand business. <laughs> that's so cheap. Now that's not it. I'm also gonna be including a few different pricing strategies that you can use to actually figure out how much you should sell your products for. So if you've been trying to figure out what are the best products for you to drop ship for your print on demand business, and if you've been struggling with your pricing, then this video is the one for you. So make sure you check it out all the way through. And as always, Go ahead and comment down below the hashtag print on demand and let me know what your takeaway is from this video to gain access to the cheat sheet in it i'm going to have all of the different links tips and tricks that i'm talking about in today's video so first things first let's go ahead and get started with what exactly is print on demand dropshipping so simply put print on demand dropshipping is when you have your own store and you don't carry any merchandise that sounds pretty interesting huh so this is the way it works Somebody's gonna to come to your online store and they're gonna place an order for a product that you designed. Let's say this t-shirt. Let's say you wanna buy some AutoDS merch and you go to the AutoDS merch website. This is of course hypothetical. We don't have merch store unless you want one. If you do, drop it down in the comments below. But besides that, somebody comes to your store and they make the purchase for this t-shirt. Now, what's gonna happen is instead of you fulfilling that order by printing it, packaging it and shipping it out, this order is going to go to your print on demand supplier. What happens from here is they're going to go ahead and produce the item and then they're going to pack it and ship it directly to the customer for you. So that way you don't have to touch any inventory or ship anything out. Now you sold that t-shirt for $25 and you paid about $10 for it. In this case, the remaining $15, that's your profit. Pretty simple, huh? Now, the best part about print on demand dropshipping is the fact that you get to design everything. So if you're the creative type, if you've ever wanted to start your own brand, if you ever wanted to start your own clothing, or your t-shirt brand, then this is the business model for you. Now, another really strong selling point for print on demand is the fact that you're not limited to just t-shirts. You have tons of different products to choose from, all of which are fully customizable, which I'll be covering in today's video. Now, the print on demand business or the demand for products that you can produce using print on demand, it's expected to grow 25% every single year from now up until 2030. That is massive growth. And with platforms like TikTok and Instagram making it pretty easy for your t-shirts or your products to go viral, the possibilities to go viral and make some serious money with this business model is pretty high compared to some other ones. Now, one quick thing I wanna clear up before we get started with the pricing strategies and the products is that the cheapest doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad quality. Now, these are all gonna be products that are fairly cheap to source simply because they're pretty much blanks and printing on them it's, it's not that expensive. So that's why suppliers can actually offer these at a pretty good price, which in turn can give you some pretty big profits. So what are some pricing strategies that you can use to be able to start selling your products at some pretty good prices? Well, for one, you can lower your profit margins and increase your sales. So there's two different ways that you can go about this. For one, you can price your products at their normal price. I'll show you how you can find out the pricing for this in a little bit. But as far as the actual strategy, you can price your products at their typical average retail price and sell the average amount of products that you typically do or however much traffic is coming into your store or whatever it is. The other option would be to lower your profit margins. So you're going to be making less money, but this gives you the opportunity to actually make more sales simply because a lot of people are going to be looking for the deals. And if they can find something cheaper than they can somewhere else, chances are they'll buy it, especially if it's good quality and you have a good design. Now, the next one is the exact opposite, which is bigger profits with bigger prices. So in this case, what you're gonna be doing is you're really gonna be nailing down on your marketing. The whole point behind this is to make your brand or your products look a lot more valuable than they actually are. Make them look luxurious, give them that luxurious style, that luxurious feel, and market them as high-end products. Now, this could potentially lower the amount of sales that you get, but it is going to give you a higher average order value, meaning you're going to be making more money per sale. In this case, you are going to be targeting a higher end market, the people that are willing to pay more for a brand or for something that's branded. At the end of the day, this is really all just perceived value. So if you value your products at, let's say, a hoodie for $65, then you kind of need to back that up. You need to make sure that it is good quality and the print itself is actually good as well. And you have a good design. And then the third pricing strategy is simply to capitalize on impulse buyers. So you really want to have your products that have that wow factor where somebody sees it and they think, 
I need this right now. Now there's a few different ways that you can go about this or to get that feeling in your customers. One of the ways is by, yeah, having a very flashy product, something that screams at your customers and tells them you need this right now and makes your customers think, whoa, this is cool, I need this. But there are a few other strategies that you can use to actually increase that FOMO, I guess you can say, or that fear of missing out on a particular deal. For example, you can do a few different types of marketing campaigns. You can price your products at a sale and running one of these sales will increase your customers wants for this product simply because they don't want to miss out. In this case, what you're doing is you're targeting your customers FOMO, their fear of missing out, meaning if they don't get this deal right now, they might not get it later. So you can price your products at, let's say, 40 or $45 instead of 60 or 65 and say that it's a limited time run which in turn is gonna make your customers think, if I don't buy this now, then I'm gonna lose this deal. Another way you can do it is simply telling them that this deal is only available on, let's say, specific platforms or using a specific coupon code. So you can only get this deal if you shop on TikTok shop, or you can only get this deal if you purchase from our Etsy shop or directly from our website. All right, so let's go ahead and start the countdown. And the first product on this list is gonna be print on demand mugs. Now check this out. Mugs can be sourced for pretty cheap and actually have a pretty good profit margin. Now, depending on the mug, you can typically sell it between 18 to about $25. And this is how you can source them. And this is how much you can source them for. So for this, we're using the AutoDS print on demand section. And if you don't have AutoDS just yet, then you can get started right now for the trial period for two weeks for just $1. Now with print on demand mugs, this is what you get. So this one in particular costs $6 and shipping is about $4.99. Now editing one of these is super easy. All you have to do is simply click on edit product, add your image. Now from here, all you have to do is simply click on preview to see how it looks or click on save to have it added to your draft section. Now let me show you an upgraded version. So besides the basic mug, you also have this one, which is the magic mug. And this one you can source for just simply a dollar more or never mind, I'm sorry, 50 cents more. And something like this, you can even sell for five to $10 more. These are really cool gifts that people absolutely love. And let's face it, when it comes to mugs, everyone loves mugs. Everyone has mugs, whether it be for their coffee or their tea. And people buy mugs all the time, especially if it's for something like a gift, whether it be for Mother's Day, Father's Day, a gift for teachers or just any miscellaneous gift. Now, how much can you actually sell one of these products for? So check this out. I found this one right here, this Trump mug. Now, there's a few reasons why I chose this one. I'm not getting political here because I do not like getting into politics, but there's money in politics simply because there's a lot of controversy. People have extremely strong opinions when it comes to what they think regarding, let's say, the president, the elections, the government, everything that's going on, especially in the US. And you can actually capitalize on that. Whether you're selling products for the right or the left or both politics, especially during election season, it's extremely lucrative. So check this one out. This one is selling for $19.95. Now, most people on Etsy actually give you free shipping, but this one is charging $4.95. A lot of people on Etsy don't really care whether or not you're charging them for shipping as long as they get quality products. And when it comes to products like this, like mugs, t-shirts, or anything that you can print with print on demand, Etsy is the best marketplace to sell these on. So in total, we have $4.95 for shipping plus $19.95 for the mug itself. So it's being sold for $24.90. Now we said that our basic mug that we can source from AutoDS it runs for $6.50. So that gives us a profit of $18.40 minus shipping, which was $4.99, giving us a pretty decent profit of $13.41. That's more than doubling what we're sourcing it for. Now, again, there's a lot of things that can factor into how you can price your products. Like I said, right now, we're actually coming up on election season. The elections are actually a few months away. So take that as something that you can start capitalizing on. What events or what holidays are coming up in the next few months, not what's coming up next week or next month, in the next three to four months. So this is a combination of two. In a couple of months, we have Father's Day, and then a few months after that come the elections. But the elections, the controversy and all of the information regarding all of the stuff is something that goes on pretty much throughout the entire year. So this is a pretty good combination of two different, I guess you can say categories, the holiday of Father's Day and the elections that are coming up. But honestly, when it comes to print on demand, you can print pretty much 
anything. You can print almost anything for any occasion or any event that's coming up. So let's say Mother's Day is coming up, you can do something for Mother's Day with whatever's currently trending. Now, if you want some different strategies on to find what's actually trending or how you can anticipate certain trends, then you can check out this video right here. It's all about how you can use Google Trends to spot, well, trends. Now, next up, we have the ever famous print on demand t-shirts. This is pretty much what got print on demand started. T-shirts, hoodies, and mugs. These were what really made print on demand what they are today. Now, in terms of t-shirts, there's a lot of different models that you can choose from. The most basic one is going to be this one, the unisex t-shirt G5000. What is this? Well, it's basically your cotton gildan t-shirt. It's going to be the most economical with the best quality for the price. Now, in here, you can see that it's running for $12.75 with $5.24 shipping. Now, this is actually a bit exaggerated because this is a 5XL. Let's go down to small through extra large, which is the typical pricing, so $7.50. Also, pro tip, if you have anything over XL, so anything XXL, XXXL, 4XL, 5XL, these are going to be more expensive because they do use a lot more material, but that's okay because... Typically speaking, these products also run more expensive on the retail side. So let's do our $7.50 plus $5.24 shipping. So in total, we're going to be spending $12.74 for a basic t-shirt. Now, after we decide what niche or what design we want to put on it, then the next thing we need to do is price it. So how can we price our t-shirts? Now, t-shirts are apparel. Apparel can really be priced in a lot of different ways. T-shirts, for example, can run anywhere between $18 or sometimes even as low as $15 all the way up to $30 or $35. Now, going back to what I said earlier, this is where you can really start to implement one of the other pricing strategies I talked about. So you can market your brand or your T-shirts as a luxurious brand, a higher end brand, something like, I don't know, Supreme or Gucci or something like that. And the perceived value for your product is going to go up significantly. So in this case, you will be able to charge $29.99 for a t-shirt. Or you can also go the other route where you're going to sell more generic t-shirts. So let's say you jump on Etsy and you start selling a lot of different types of happy birthday t-shirts. Shirts that are going to be geared towards occasions that happen all the time that people buy t-shirts for all the time. How many times do you see somebody's pictures on Instagram or Facebook where they're celebrating a birthday and everyone is wearing matching shirts? Cousin of the birthday boy, mom of the birthday boy, birthday boy. This type of apparel is not typically bought in singles. Most of the time, people are going to buy these in packs, sometimes in packs of two or most likely packs of three or more, simply because you're going to have, let's say, the birthday boy, the mom of the birthday boy, the dad of the birthday boy, the cousin, the brother, the grandma, everyone. So my suggestion to you is come up with different designs and try to use both pricing strategies. So you can try to open up two different stores, one which is going to be more generic, while the other one is going to be higher end. Maybe you can use Shopify for your higher end store and use Etsy for your more generic products, in which you're going to be giving volume discounts. So you can sell one t-shirt for 25, or if somebody decides to purchase one for the birthday boy and one for the mom of the birthday boy, you can sell each one for, I don't know, 20. Then if they want to add a third one, you can bring it down to $18 and just keep it at 18 bucks. This is where the volume pricing comes in. You're going to be making more sales, even though you're going to be making less profit. But since you are making more sales, your profit is just going to keep going up. Everything's going to keep scaling. Personally, between the two pricing strategies, either the higher perceived value or the volume pricing, I prefer to go for the volume pricing just because it's something that people are really going to be looking for more. If you decide to give your brand a higher perceived value, then you really, really need to work on your marketing and make sure that everything is on point. Your brand needs to look pretty much what you're charging for your products. Next up, we have posters. Print on demand posters are absolutely huge because you can cover any niche and posters are used by pretty much everyone, whether it's for somebody's bedroom, somebody's living room, their man cave, somebody's garage office or somebody's studio. Posters can be used in pretty much every single setting, whether it be to advertise something or just for pure decoration. Now on the AutoDS print on demand section, we can see that this poster, a 24 by 36, is running for $9 and $6.24 for shipping. So let's go ahead and do some quick math. Always got to pull out that calculator because like I've said before, my math skills aren't that good. My math doesn't really math. So 9 plus 6.24. So we're going to be sourcing a 24 by 36 for $15.24. Now, the reason I went with this size is because that's going to be the more generic option that you're going to see. 
People like 24 by 36 for posters because it's a pretty good size for pretty much any wall. Now, how much can you sell these for? So typically speaking, posters you can sell for about $29 to $30. So you can almost pretty much double your profit on this. But in certain instances, you can sell it for a lot more. Of course, like I said, you need to have the right design. Check this out. On Etsy, we can see this one right here, this Jesus versus Santa Christmas framed wall art. By the way, it's not framed. Running for $64.99, and it does have free shipping. But still, $64.99 for a simple poster is absolutely insane. Now, look at this. This is the print only. If they decide to frame it, it's even more. But the print only for $24.36, $64.99. Now, that one didn't have any sales, but this one does. And this one's running for the same amount, $64.99, print only, 24 by 36, and reviews for this item. Five stars down the line. That's insane. People actually do pay this much for something like a poster. Again, you need to have the right designs. Now, let me give you a pro tip on how you can actually come up with some pretty good designs. I always use Kittle. Kittle is my absolute favorite platform to come up with designs for my print on demand products. Now the link to Kittle is gonna be in the cheat sheet. So if you're interested in this, then make sure you check that out. Now, quick disclaimer, as far as using AI to come up with your designs, which is what we're about to do, you do need to have a pro account. No matter what platform you use, you're gonna need to have a professional account in order to download the images at a high enough quality or a high enough resolution to actually print out appropriately with good quality. If you don't have a pro account for either Kittle, Canva, or any of these other ones, you can use something like Photoshop or GIMP, G-I-M-P. Again, the link for that is going to be also in the cheat sheet, but GIMP is pretty much a free version of Photoshop. And with it, you can use it to design whatever it is that you need at the appropriate quality levels with the right resolution. Quick disclaimer, 300 DPI is what you're going to aim for. No more, no less. 300 DPI with the appropriate sizing, 24 by 36, let's say, that's gonna be everything that you need. Now, really quick, let's go ahead and click on tools, AI image generator. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project here and I'm gonna change all of this. So 24 by 36 with, like I said, a resolution or DPI of 300 minimum. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and click on Kittle AI. And what do we want? So after you do a bit of research and you find out what's gonna be trending or what it currently is trending, again, if you wanna learn more about anticipating trends, just check out the Google Trends video. But in this case, let's do, let's do something similar to the other one that we saw. And let's do Santa in an MMA ring with a Jack O Lantern. Then the next thing we need to do is choose our aspect ratio, which is this one right here, the nine by 16, and select a style. So let's go ahead and select an image style. Do we wanna do anime? Let's do anime. Anime lately has just been absolutely popping off, so this would be pretty interesting. And then click on generate image. So this is what I came up with, and this is actually pretty interesting, but let's specify just a little bit further, and let's do fighting a jack-o'-lantern. And let's change it to a psychedelic art style. Let's see what that comes up with. All right, so this is what it came up with, and considering the fact that we said a psychedelic design, this is pretty trippy but I like it. So from here, all you have to do is simply click on download. If you have the pro account, then you can download it with the specified settings that I mentioned, 300 DPI. But if you don't, you're gonna be limited to 72, which again is not gonna be appropriate for prints on demand. The quality will not be good. All right, next up we have the ever popular phone case. Now phone cases are awesome simply because you can put, again, any design on them with print on demand. But not only that, but also because people are always upgrading their phone cases whether it be a few times a year or when they replace their phones. Phone cases are one of the most replaced items in the history of forever. People always wanna change the look on their phones and it's only natural to wanna change the style every once in a while. And plus, after a lot of use, handling your phone, putting it down, it kinda of starts to put some wear and tear on the actual case itself. So that's another reason why people consistently change their phone cases. Now, in terms of pricing, we can source it over at AutoDS for just $9.25 and you actually have free shipping. Also, this one is for the iPhone, but there's tons of other phone cases to choose from, especially since there's literally almost an unlimited amount of different types of phones out there. And again, these phones are upgraded every single year and everyone always wants to have the latest tech. So now let me show you a different way that you can start coming up with pricing for this. So using the AutoDS handpick product section, I found this luxury 3D silver silk pattern phone case. 
pretty much just a fancy way of saying a patterned phone case. Now, this case itself is running for 342 and 347, but that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is this right here, our potential profit and what it's being sold for and how many times it's sold. So this particular item in itself has sold over 2000 times and it's being sold for an average of about $36.95. So here we can see that looking up relevant products on the AutoDS handpicked product section can actually help us with our pricing. Not only that, but if we're running ads on TikTok or Facebook, we can also get some insights on that too. So here we have a target audience section as well, where we're gonna see the different types of interests and even the occupation, the gender, and the age range of our target demographic. In this case, for this one, we're gonna be looking for both males and females, between the ages of 18 and 40, with interests in tech, smartphone accessories, metallic finishes, and stylish phone cases. These are all terms that we can use in our Facebook ads targeting to be able to target the right customers for this product or for this phone case, or really for almost any phone case. Of course, they do have to be in line in terms of style because you're not gonna be targeting the same demographic with this design than let's say with a more cartoonish design. Next up, we have stickers. Stickers are something that people purchase for a lot of different reasons, whether that be for their cars, for their walls, for their laptops, simply for decoration, or even to advertise their businesses. Stickers are used in quite a variety of applications. Now on AutoDS, we can find the 20 by 20 running for about $12. 20 by 20 would be 20 by 20 inches. And looking up something somewhat similar on Etsy, like let's say this one right here, we can see that a 20 inch runs for $24, but this is for single color. These stickers are actually full color. So because of that, we can charge quite a bit more. Now, most places don't necessarily offer just one full color sticker at that size. Most of the time you're gonna find these in packs. So they're gonna be in packs of five, 10, 20. Now, because we can offer these products in just single variations, we can charge a lot more for them. So since we saw this one, which is about $24 for a single color, we can easily double this price and sell it for $24 and take advantage of volume pricing. But if we don't necessarily wanna do that and wanna make a bit more profit, then something like this, a full color sticker, can easily be sold anywhere between 30 to 40 or even $50. Again, simply because it's a full color sticker. And of course, because of the size. Now the last product on this list is gonna be one that we already covered, except it's gonna be printed a bit differently. And that's gonna be all over print t-shirts. So what this means is, with your typical print on demand t-shirt, you only get the front print. An AOP or all over print t-shirt means that you're gonna be able to print on the entire thing from the sleeves to the necklines to the bottom, literally the entire t-shirt you can customize and you can print on. This really makes room for some massive profits. So checking out the pricing, we can see that it's actually running for $10.75 with free shipping. So this in itself is a huge advantage. Most of the times an all over print t-shirt like this is gonna be running you between 30 to $40, sometimes even more. Like, look at this one. This one's running for $45 and it has free shipping, but it's running for 45 bucks, like I said. And it's actually with Pokemon, but obviously we're drop shippers, we're not supposed to do that. But just as an example, you can see that it's actually selling 45 bucks, over 37,000 reviews from the shop. Now, another example is this one, which is customized ones. In this case, you can go ahead and select your size, let's do a large, and we can see that this one is running for $33.75, and they are charging $4 for shipping. Typical price is 45 bucks though. All right, so those are some of the cheapest print-on-demand products that you can offer. Now, what are some of the cheapest print-on-demand suppliers that you can source your products from? Well, for one, we have the AutoDS print-on-demand section, which I just showed you. If you sign up for AutoDS, you're not only gonna get access to print-on-demand, but you have access to a lot of other features, all of which can help you market and brand your products appropriately. So you have access to the marketplace, print on demand, the TikTok ads buy that lets you find winning products. And best of all, you have the option to really expand your business. So because AutoDS is a dropshipping platform, along with print on demand, you get the option to increase your product offerings. So you can offer all of your different print on demand items, but then you can also offer different products that you can dropship that are relevant to your brand. Aside from that, you also have all of the different types of resources that I just showed you throughout the video, like the handpicked product section with its profit analysis, its target audience, an engagement score, a saturation score, which tells you how saturated the market is with a particular product, and even social ads that can help you really market your product by teaching you how you can start making content around it. Besides that, with a platform like AutoDS, you have the option to really automate your entire business from start to finish. 
from importing any products to creating any different types of products for prints on demand to the entire order fulfillment process. Everything is automated for you. Aside from that, you also have Spreadshirt. Now, Spreadshirt typically sends out their items within about 48 hours. They have really good quality products and they also have international shipping. But what they don't have is all of the different selections that let's say you could find on AutoDS. So while they do have a lot of them, there's a few other things that you're not going to find on there. Like let's say bedding, shower curtains, floor mats, and these more unique options. Aside from that, we also have Gelato. Now Gelato is pretty cool because they actually have warehouses all over the world or printers all over the world. So if you use Gelato, you have the option to be able to sell almost around the entire globe with some pretty quick shipping. Now, Gelato is free to use, but you get the very, very basics of the platform. After that, you do have Gelato Plus, which is about $24 a month, the gold and platinum. Now, what these pretty much consist of is a lot of the other features that are typically included with some of the other providers. Things like mock-up generators, access to designs, like being able to use stock images or fonts, and better pricing. So unless you have the Gelato Plus, you are going to be paying 10% more. Next, we have Printful, which is one of the more popular print-on-demand options. And similar to Gelato, you do have a free version, but to take advantage of their better pricing structure, you do need to sign up for their premium membership. And last but not least, we have Printify. Now, Printify and Printful are pretty much on the same level. You do get better pricing structures if you sign up for the premium membership. But the difference with Printify is the fact that you can actually choose what printer you want to use. So Printify uses a bunch of different print suppliers that you can choose from that are going to have different selections and they're also going to be shipping to different regions. So that can be both good and it can also be bad simply because if you have one supplier that has a particular product or a particular color in stock and they run out, you're not going to be able to use any of the suppliers to be able to supplement for that missing product or for that item that's out of stock. Besides that, if you do go, let's say the general route and you go with your basic, let's say black and white t-shirts, that is gonna be able to be supplied by all of the different print suppliers on Printify, but they're not all gonna have the same quality. So if one supplier ships to a particular part of the country while a different supplier ships to, let's say the other side of the country, the two suppliers might not have the same quality in terms of print or even t-shirts. So that's something that you really need to look out for. You might not have consistent quality using Printify. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of these different types of print on demand products and the suppliers? Which one of these products do you plan on offering? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember to also drop the comment hashtag print on demand. And let me know what your takeaway was from this video to gain access to the cheat sheet with all of the information that I talked about today. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. My name is Mario with AutoDS. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification. And with that, I'll catch you all next time.